回のテーマはこれライトスタンドなしで超素敵なポートレートを外で撮ろうそう長いねしかも何これそう外で撮る外で前は中だったけど今回は外とハードル上がったんじゃない難しいね<笑>もうこれはアーミンを困らせようっていう企画だから困るねライトスタイルなしなしストロボを使わないで撮るストロボは絶対使ってくださいえあのストロボをちょっと誰かに持ってもらって撮るのはそれはダメ、OK、それはねアシスタントはなしちくしょう難しいね機材は使っちゃダメ機材は使っちゃダメ機材じゃなきゃいいってこと身の回りのどこにでもあるようなものだったら OK 分かったじゃあ,あの買ってくるから予算ください今日はねお金がない<笑>マジで今日はないじゃあ何使えばいいかな何何,何を使えばいいか考えてそれはマジでちょっとちょっとなんか探して探して,探して<笑>探してください。<laughs> well, here we go. To be honest, I've done shoots before using clamps or brackets to hold flashes instead of light stands, but this time I don't even know where we're gonna shoot, so I'm a little bit concerned. Before we begin, however, I'd like to introduce today's model, the lovely Sayaka. In addition to being an amazing model, actress, and person in general, she's also starring in my most recent video project, The Last Sentoshi, which is a short film about cameras, good versus evil, and superheroes. So if you're a fan of all these things, then today's a lucky day for you. There's a link in the description where you can go and watch it. Now, shooting without light stands is a little bit like wiping your bum without toilet paper. It's totally possible. But you're not gonna like it, it's uncomfortable, and you'll really wish you had some the whole time. Luckily, there was a basket in the kitchen for holding some sponges, which turned out to be a perfect fit for the DI 700. I attached that to a street light using those rubber blue bendy things that I found,、uh, and then I put a rogue flash bender on it, and it seemed to work quite well. Next up, I noticed that the bicycle we were using as a prop had a drink holder that also held a flash quite nicely. When I tried it out, it was almost like using a light stand, except it was big and heavy. And I couldn't change the height or the angle, and it just gets in the way a lot. Almost. For the next setup, I'm starting to get pretty comfortable with my substitute flash mounts. So, I decided to try a two light setup. This involved placing a smaller i40 flash in the basket which I hung off the door. I then used the second flash in my trusty old bicycle slash light stand as a fill light from the front.
Moving right along, we found ourselves in a park, the kind of which I've done many a photo shoot in. However, this time, I was more interested in which trees could serve as light stands, rather than where I could set up for the best angle. It was kind of a strange feeling. The smallness of the i40 came in useful once again, fitting quite nicely into the weird pencil holder thing which was ball bungee to a light pole. As you can see, the basket and blue bendy things worked a charm as well, sticking nicely to a tree that was just the right width. We then took a donut break, after which I decided to try some more photos. I put the i40 in a suction cup soap holder thingy that I found in the bathroom, and then I stuck it to the side of a building and put a rogue grid on it. After that, I set up a light above and behind Sayaka, using that basket and blue bendy thing combination that seems to be able to stick to anything. I think I'm beginning to like it. <laughs> so there you have it, an impromptu photo session on the streets without light stands. I'm sure there are many other DIY solutions to shooting without light stands out there, so if you have any suggestions, please post them in the comments below. Otherwise, we hope you learned something and look forward to seeing you on the next Nishin Impossible. I'm <laughs> <laughs>